everyone, it's Louisa, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my entire Frozen collection for the Melic Adventures of Frozen collab. Woo! If you're a returning viewer or subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate your support. And if you're new here, hi! My name is Louisa, and I'm just a gal who is trying to incorporate her childhood loves and hobbies into her adult lifestyle. And one of those loves is definitely Disney. So today I am participating in a Melix Adventures collab that is centered around Frozen. I'm very excited to be back participating in these. Every single month, Ben and Danielle over at the Melic Adventures have been putting on various collabs and I took part in the Bugs Life one at the very beginning of this year. I'll have that video linked up in the cards and I was supposed to take part in a few more early on in the year but just due to time it just didn't end up working out unfortunately but i'm back yay so i'm super excited to be a part of it again and all the other channels that are participating their videos will be down below so be sure to not only check out ben and danielle's but everyone else that is participating as well so for this video we can kind of do whatever we want um, about the particular topic but I'm just gonna show you guys my Frozen collection because honestly, I haven't done a Frozen collection. And after doing my updated pin collection, I'm kind of into collection videos now. I'm like, yeah, let's do some collection videos because it makes me just appreciative of what I own. And it makes me go, yeah, that's why I collect this particular movie or this particular Disney thing. So um, yeah, I hope that you guys like it. I'll kind of show the different parts of my collection by category, um, but it could get a little messy, but we're going to start with wearables. I actually don't have any frozen wearables. I used to have a shirt that had Olaf on it and it said I like warm hugs and I actually wore that for moving my freshman year of college. And then I also was Olaf one time for Halloween. I think it was that same year that Halloween. Yep, 2014. What a year. Um, but I, I kind of made the costume from scratch so it wasn't, I didn't buy anything that was specifically frozen licensed let's go into pins this is my frozen lanyard i do have enough frozen pins and a frozen themed lanyard um so that is one of the lanyards i own and i will kind of talk about each pin and how i came to get it let's see okay so down here we have the olaf wishable pin and then the sven wishable pin i got those in um, a mystery unbagging of these particular pins so that video will be up in the cards um let's see so those are the bottoms then these four pins came with this lanyard so it was part of a starter set so you got olaf you got sven you got elsa and you got anna um and I found those four pins with this lanyard at Burlington. Normally in the Disney parks, they're like 32 bucks, those starter um, packs for a lanyard and four pins. I can't remember what price I got it for at Burlington, but it was way less than that. And so I was really grateful. So that was one of my best finds I ever found at a Burlington. The next up we have this Anna and then we have the Elsa pin up here. I believe I got those at Burlington as well. And then I know this pin, I, I think I also got these two pins from Burlington, another one of Elsa, and then this one with Olaf that's a snow it all. So actually a good chunk of these I got from Burlington, which is crazy. Um, this, this Elsa is a Disneyland Paris Elsa. And so I'm pretty sure I got that in a pin trade of some sort. I'm not or not a pin trade, but maybe probably got it from a pin sale. I'm not sure. Um, and then I definitely got this from Top Shop live pin sale or an Instagram pin sale. And then up here we have two fantasy pins. So this first one says, um, you are the one you've been waiting for all of your life. It's absolutely gorgeous. I will include a link to this shop in the description down below, but really, really cool pin. And then Oh, I love this pin so much. So I think it was in my Super Bowl pin tag video that I mentioned like for loving dance and having it, you know, be part of my niches. Um, 
I don't really have a lot of dancing Disney pins at all. And so I found this one or I saw this one on Etsy and I was like, oh, and it's so gorgeous. So this is called Royal Ballet. It's from Once Upon a Pin 1878. That is their Instagram. Their name on Etsy is a little bit different. So um, I'll have it down below. And this is a limited edition, but just like, look at the back too. It's huge, it's beautiful. <sighs> Love this pin. And those are all my frozen pins. So I'm um, not a super big collection, but it is kind of a special collection because it has its own place, it has its own lanyard. So um, that's special right there. Next up, let's do stickers because most of the stickers I get are also a small shop. Um, this is my Disney junk journal and I do have a frozen page. It doesn't have that many stickers on it, but these are the stickers I do have. I cannot remember where I got this one from. I think I ordered it special. I don't know. Um, and then I don't know where I got this from. I randomly picked this up somewhere, but this did come from a small shop on Etsy. It actually came from the small, same small shop as this pin. So it's kind of two different styles, but there you go. I don't have a Harry Potter page in my non Disney junk journal. Um, and I, so I was like, okay, do I need to start like a Hufflepuff or Harry Potter page in there? Um, or do I put this on the frozen one? And I just decided to put it on the Disney frozen page. So that's why it's here. So those are my frozen stickers on the frozen page layout. Next up, just for funsies, let's do, um, these are prints, um, or postcards that I've gotten, um, that I like to put up. Um, normally this is my frozen cube or at least it has been in my Disney shelves. Um, and so like, I'll put these up on the sides um, to see, but I have three of them. This first one, this is a postcard from Hong Kong Disneyland and it's one of Anna and it says never give up. I got this in a magical pick me up box. And so I love this as like the note for the box. Um, it's gorgeous and it's really cool to be able to, or to have gotten stuff from um, Hong Kong Disneyland. The next one I have is also from Hong Kong Disneyland and it's Elsa. And so I have both of those, that's very nice. And this one says, be true to yourself. And it is just gorgeous. And last but not least, I also purchased this from a shop on Etsy. I'm doing a lot of Etsy shopping, but you know what, support small business. I don't have any regrets. Um, and I will try to link the shop that this is from. And this is kind of like if the Disney princesses kind of went on various rides throughout the parks. So this one is Anna and Elsa on um, Expedition Everest. So this is that particular print postcard. Um, I just thought this was really cool and it features both of them and snow. So I thought I would get this and put it in my frozen collection. Now let's do figures. So I have one, I have one Funko Pop that's related to Frozen and it's a Frozen 2 one, which as I explained in my VIP3 video, but I'll just explain it here. I love Frozen 1. Love it, love it, love it. Frozen 2, I like the soundtrack, um, but I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of Frozen 2. I just don't feel the need to watch it again and I felt like a lot of the story just didn't really make sense. So I kind of pretend that it doesn't exist. Um, if you like Frozen 2, that's great. Um, I'm not here to be like, you're wrong. Um, but uh, I do I do like this Funko Pop, even though it's like the Frozen 2 Funko Pop because it's Elsa, who's one of my favorite Disney characters of all time. And she has Bruni. I don't know if you can really see it. I mean, you can see it a little bit better in this picture, but oh, hello, Inception. <laughs> um, but she does have Bruni um, and this was only available at Target apparently. So, um, I do have a frozen Funko Pop and this one is it. Love it. It's one of my favorite Funko Pops that I have. And then another figurine. I'm not exactly sure what this is called or what series. When I say series, like I don't know what kind of line they come from. 
Um, but this is from Magical Pick Me Up. This is from Hong Kong Disneyland. And basically they had a bunch of different uh, Frozen characters um, from what I remember from my unboxing of this. And I got Olaf and I was very excited. Um, but there's what I assume to be a stand. And then I have the Olaf figure. And then it's fun because Olaf also has Bruni. Um, you can't, I can't really show you that well, Bruni, but it's like he's telling him a secret or something. But anyways, um, so this just goes here. I kind of wish there was a way to like kind of keep it on the stand better, but that's okay. Um, but this is a super cute figure and yeah, I don't know what kind of figure it is, but it counts. Let's go into, I don't have any frozen gym shores or anything like that, but we're going to go into kind of the fragile stuff. <laughs> so I do have kind of some figurines. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you is this Elsa and it's actually like a piggy bank because there you go. Um, it says fearless and it's just like this really nice Elsa piggy bank, Elsa figure, um, Elsa headshot. There you go. Um, I found this at a savers and I got it for maybe around four to five bucks. I really like it. I was like, this is a nice figurine. I like it. I got this as a gift from my auntie mare. Love you. And, um, my aunt's just great. But anyways, um, she got this for me for my birthday a few years ago and it is a snow globe and it's from Hallmark and it has Olaf in it and it has like the leaves and you turn it on and then it'll kind of like kick up the leaves and keep them going and floating. So yay. Next category we're going to do is kind of toys, miscellaneous, if you will. Um, but I do have two McDonald's toys for Frozen. So they're both from the Walt Disney World 50th toy collection series. And this first one is of Olaf. And he has Epcot behind him because of the Frozen ride. Nah. Okay. The Olaf figurines falling off of whatever they're supposed to be on is really causing me to get stressed out. And then I also have Bruni from the same collection. Dude, stay on your platform, stay in your lane, stay on your platform. There we go. Um, and this is, oh, I just think it's so cute. I, Bruni's adorable. I mean, I can acknowledge that Frozen 2 exists for Bruni. It's fine. Um, and then again, Epcot in the background. Ah! And we're losing Bruni. God, okay. Me and toys are just not meshing right now. Then I do have an Elsa Lego figure. This is from... Um, one of the kind of mystery bags and you end up getting a different Disney character, but this is Elsa She has a nice cape flowing in the wind from the fan. Love it. Yay, but this is super cute. I love this. I bought the bag Two of these figures at Target and then I also got this at Target and it is the Elsa rubber ducky Doesn't squeak or anything, but But yes another Elsa figurine like this rubber duck is like gorgeous. <laughs> Have you ever like looked at a rubber duck and you're just like, wow, you're more gorgeous than I am? That was me looking at this duck <laughs> just a minute ago. Even though I know I'm gorgeous, it is, uh, I'm very confident with how I look and everything. Um, I just wasn't, I was taken aback by that. Last but not least, these are not items that are necessarily in my Frozen collection, but I do have two Frozen related items up for sale in my Mercari, which I'll also have linked down below in the description. Um, I've been trying to sell them both for a long time and they just don't, I don't feel the need to have them in my collection. So the first one that I have is this Grand Pappy Troll Wishable. Um, I found it in an antique store for four bucks, I think. Um, but I've been trying to sell it for a long time. Um, so if you're interested in having a Frozen Wishable, here's the Grand Pappy Troll one. And then I'm also selling um, one of these that I found at Burlington. Um, I found a Frozen 2 reversible lanyard. So it still has like the Disney Parks tag and the I'm reversible signs on them. Um, and again, I just found this at Burlington, um, but I liked the lanyard from the starter kit more. So I don't need this. Um, again, if you're interested in either item, check out my Mercari. It'll be in the description down below. That's it for what's in my Frozen collection. So um, did it surprise you? The amount of stuff that was in my Frozen collection. I 
I'm kind of surprised, but I'm also kind of not. Like, I mean, I have given stuff that I had that was frozen away, like that I like Warm Hugs Olaf shirt. And I had an Olaf stuffed animal also that I gave away. I was, but, you know, life happens. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you, Ben and Danielle, for allowing me to participate in another one of your collabs. Again, there will be a bunch of different videos that you can check out related to Frozen. And you can check those out via my description box. All the links and channels that are participating will be down below. If you want to see more of my shenanigans or just see more of what I'm up to, you can follow me on Instagram at Louisa.Ruby. And you can find me on TikTok at WeezQueen. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon with a brand new video. Bye!